Connor. We're going to bring Connor out. Connor is the creator of a wonderful channel here. And um, he is the creator of the Couch GM. And Connor, we've got your audio connected. How are you doing today, sir? Good. How about you guys? Thank you for having me on. Very, very well, man. Thank you for being here. And uh, so creator of the Couch GM. And uh, Connor, you, you've been able to accomplish quite a bit with this channel already. So you're at 8.85 8, thousand subscribers. Um, channel has been around for about two and a half years, and it's allowed you to get your media credentials with the MLB. Um, but it sounds like you, you're you trying to figure out how to monetize and, and different things to do. So I'm going to put 10, 10 minutes on the clock. Tell us a little bit more about kind of what your main struggle is with your channel right now. Yeah, so started two and a half years ago, as you described, uh, year in, I got a connection within the Mariners, got credentialed by Major League Baseball with media. So anytime that the Mariners are up in town, I'm on the field doing pregame interviews. I'm also a full-time mortgage loan originator. I've been doing that for eight years since I graduated from college. And this has kind of allowed me to, this has been a side passion project that I've done for the past two and a half years, just, you know, evenings and weekends, basically. And now I'm really trying to figure out how to kind of cross pollinate my mortgage business with my sports media brand. And so I started a separate mortgage channel also to where, you know, I'm just creating videos, answering questions that clients have and looking to use that as a resource. I've been putting mortgage ads in my sports videos and, you know, ad reads for my podcast and whatnot. So I'm just really trying to figure out how to take things to the, to the next level across the board and how to monetize in, in the different ways. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, so tell us, tell us about the ad reads. So how's that been going on the channel? The what? Sorry. The ad reads that you've been putting in for the mortgage, uh, because it seems like there's yeah. a little bit of a, a difference in audience there, but, but tell us about how that's been going for you. Right. So basically it's like, Hey, reach out to the couch GM to hit a home run with your mortgage financing needs type thing. And uh, yeah. I actually just closed my first couch GM client two months ago. The other day I, I posted a, a video and I had an ad read in there. And I had someone submit their information the next day. That's looking. To, that's in Colorado. I live in Washington. They're in Colorado, hey, looking to purchase in Colorado. So the, the ad reads have been starting to pick up. And you know what I've noticed is that I just need to keep putting it out there and keep letting people know. And I let people know on my stories across social medias. So it's just about being persistent. I think with reminding people that I'm in more that I'm in mortgage, and just trying yeah. to find ways to to put that in there. No, and I, and I think that's important because it, there does, to me, seems to be a little bit of a disconnect between the audience of the baseball and then people mm -hmm. that would be looking for a mortgage, mortgage lending service. So um, you said you have a, a second channel as well. How's, how are things going on that channel? Is that one more tailored specifically to the mortgage lending? Yeah, it's it's mortgage real estate. I just started that one. Um, like I mentioned, I, my first videos that I'm going to be, be making are just answering generic questions that clients have had throughout the process. So my first video was walking through the home buying process, like 22 minutes long. And so when I have a potential client, I could send them the link to that video and then help, you know, build that trust. And then, um, yeah, just trying to find whatever avenue to take things to the, to the next level. So. Yeah, no, that's good. And I did look around your channel. And so that's, that would be the one thing, as I said, a little bit of a disconnect there with the baseball uh, content and the mortgage lending. However, it does feel like you're building some trust there with a lot of people. So 8,000 subscribers. And, uh, as Della and I were looking, um, I think that was the thing that we kind of came to as well is that, is there a way to bridge that gap? Because you're building trust there as somebody that's reporting, uh, the industry news, the baseball, that type of thing. And I'm, I'm glad you started to utilize that, that uh, ad read technique, getting mm -hmm. that actually in there for yourself. But Della, I'd love to hear from you as well on, on your thoughts for the channel. Yeah, I think one question, like you said, Sam, is, is there a way to bridge that gap? Another question I would ask too, is there a way to just keep them in their own lanes? Like, do you have any idea how you could just monetize on the baseball side? Does that make sense? Yeah. And so I've, I've kind of became locally in this area. People have heard about my sports media brand, YouTube channel video that I do, and I've become somewhat of an authority locally in the, in the market. And so I, I want to help monetize the couch GM in multiple ways, one with the whole YouTube channel, but I want to start, you know, coaching with YouTube coaching with video for realtors specifically in the area. 
And so I'm using this platform as a way to build the authority within my, my space, which is real estate. And then being able to connect with the realtors who are the people that I want to do business with long-term and, you know, help educate them with how they could start on YouTube and grow their own channels. So that's, that's one avenue that I'm taking and I want to start the business consulting side of it uh, or the YouTube consulting side of it too. Okay. So then you, so I hear three lanes now. I don't know about you, Sam, but I'm hearing now baseball, the video, and then the mortgage lane. Right. And I honestly think the video lane matches better with baseball. I don't know your thoughts on that, Sam, but it could naturally more flow into like, Hey, if you are into sports and you want to create your own sports channel, like that, that I, I hear a niche there opportunity there. I don't know your thoughts on that, Sam, that seems more of a natural connection than the mortgage. Yeah, and I, I would tend to agree with that. And it's it's interesting when you start to get in, into these conversations because a lot of us are multi-passionate people, right? Yeah. And so you've got the passion of baseball, you got the videography. Um, and then also, it sounds like you are passionate about the mortgage lending as well. I mean, that's what you do mm -hmm. for your full-time job. So um, that's where we start to get into that dynamic of, um, you know, sh can you put all this stuff on one channel? Quick answer to that is probably not. Um, but, but then how do you manage that as well? And how do you get that crossover? So, um, you know, I, I, I would really agree with what you're saying, Della, that there's, there's a lot of separation there, but it can work. And so it's really more about how much time do you have to invest? Where's the focus actually going? And, um, I guess one question I have for you, is the baseball content actually already monetized? Are you getting ad revenue from that or? Yeah, I mean, it's a couple hundred bucks a month, so it's nothing to, to write home about, but, you know, and it's not it's not enough to be able to focus more time on it, because as I mentioned, full-time job is mortgage lending, so that's the priority, and that's why I want to start creating those videos to help build that out, um, but then again, cross-pollination with the, the audience that I do have, and then with what I'm trying to grow with mortgage. So, absolutely, absolutely. And a follow-up question: Is the goal to go full time, like on your own, creating content, or are we trying to do like shortest path to revenue type thing, where it's like let's focus on the more? Like, tell me your thoughts on that. Yeah, I'll just say long term. I mean, there's Barstool Sports, there's John Boy Media, there's Boston, New York, East Coast Sports, uh, independent sports media companies. Ideally, long term, Couch GM West Coast, you know, become a, a national sports media brand and company, and that's. That's ultimately the goal. I didn't have that thought initially when I started it. It was just out of a passion of wanting to create content that I wanted to watch myself. And then, you know, it's opened a lot of doors and I can only imagine where it's going to be in a couple of years. So why not, you know, don't put a limit on it. Yeah. So we've got about two, three minutes left. And um, so I, I want to know in six months, what is your ideal kind of channel look like? What what are you looking to kind of get out of that? So my Couch GM channel, um, a lot of the the videos that I create are short film, you could say. They're very educational, a lot of editing. They're a blend between, like for example, that thumbnail, the first one with the Mariners and Orioles, that's like a talking head video on a trade that just happened last night. So trending topics to where it's current events, then I'll create a video with a talking head versus um, other videos like the Mason Miller one, if you scroll down a little bit to where I'm not, you know, my face isn't in there that, that has like 9,000 views. That's highly edited. It's, it's basically a short film educating on who this player is, where they came from, why you should pay attention to them. So, I mean, my, my thing is just keep creating content, keep doing what I'm doing, keep letting people know that I'm in mortgage and then locally, you know, keep doing the same thing, word of mouth get connected to people and just kind of see where it takes me. I love it. I love it. Well, what I would say is it sounds like you do have a lot of things that are on track. And so, and, and the mindset wise, it seems like you do have, uh, you know, a lot of the, the things that we would already, already look for as far as making sure that the, the channel's focused, obviously the channel's growing. Um, and so I would start to think through monetization wise, specifically for the couch GM. Mm. Um, are there other ways that you can monetize? Are there affiliate programs you can get into or, um, you know, different types of merch, maybe getting in with a specific team or something like that. Uh, and so ways that you could potentially bring in other streams that way, make it more viable. And so that it is more than just, you know, a couple hundred bucks a month. Um, I guess but I, 
Yeah, I didn't really mention I am affiliated with various companies like that panel behind me, the Glance LED panel. Uh, yeah. Faithfulism is a sports apparel brand that I'm affiliated with, uh, Black Label Supplements, which is a supplement company. So oh, yeah. I'm definitely affiliated with various brands and companies. It's just a matter of scaling everything up and actually, you know, getting uh, substantial revenue out of it. So there you go. So I would think through all that stuff that you have going on and, you know, a couple hundred bucks is nothing to balk at, right? There are a lot of people that would wish they had an extra couple hundred dollars from content that's just sitting on the internet. But, um, you know, as far as strategy goes, now it's a, a point of, I think, looking at what you already have that's viable and really structuring, looking at, uh, you know, making a list of what are the things that I really want to attack. And then in six months, I, I can't imagine where you'd be, um, but this is looking really good so far. So um it's been a pleasure meeting you man hopefully did you get any ahas out of that uh, that conversation yeah i mean it, it's just you know sticking with it it's about it's about the mindset and yeah just trying to look at whatever avenues might be might be available and then focusing on where the opportunity is so just sticking with it absolutely all right man well it's been a pleasure connor connor great to meet Appreciate you your time and enjoy the rest of the summit yes sir thanks bye connor see ya